Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my new skincare routine. Yes, that's right. I've been on YouTube about two years and I've used Retin-A the whole time and I absolutely love that journey. And I'll link some videos below that show you my Retin-A results, which have been just wonderful. But I have simplified my skincare routine lately and found that not only is it simpler, easier to do, and a lot less expensive, it is also producing great results. In fact, I was at work the other day and my sister said, what are you doing with your skin? It's looking really good lately. And my sister never compliments me. She's my little sister and I don't know if there's some competition kind of thing going on between us. I don't think so, but I never get compliments from her. So whenever I get a compliment from her, I really listen and I do feel she's right. I feel like my skin just looks a little bit more glowy, a little bit more youthful. My skin just has a better overall tone and I really attribute that to about the last six weeks when I've changed out my skincare items, at least some of them. So I'll be showing you what I do now and I'm going to be showing you my P AM skincare routine and I'll post a video later of my AM skincare routine and if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging for us 50 plus beauties then I hope you'll subscribe and when you click that little bell you'll get notified of my future videos and if you could give this video a thumbs up that would be great too. Okay let me get into this and I'll show you step by step what I do in the evening. The first thing I do is, and I have it in this little baggie because it does get oil everywhere, and I have used this for absolutely years to take off my eye makeup. It's very inexpensive, absolutely love it. It's the CoverGirl Clean Makeup Remover for Eyes and Lips, and I basically just take some of this oil and I scruffle it all over my eyes and I look like a big raccoon. I take a nice soft Kleenex and just get that mascara off for the most part. So that is step one of my PM skincare routine. And the next thing I do is I take one of these little two-in-one facial wipes, and these are the Equate brand facial wipes, and they also have these in the Oil of Olay brand, I think, but these are a lot less expensive, and in my opinion, they do the same thing. But basically, you take one of these little exfoliating wipes, and here it is, and if you can see that, it's got kind of a scruffly, rough texture to it. You just moisten this with water, and then you just scruffle it all over your face. I do one side, and it gets tons of makeup off, and then I do the other side, and I re-go over my raccoon eye area and get that off as well. And that gets, I would say, about 90% of my makeup off. And after I've gone over my face with the moistened facial wipe, I go in with this Thayer's Witch Hazel, and it has been in business since 1847. It's just a very easy way to tone your skin, to take the remaining makeup off. I just use a little skincare round here, a little cotton round, put the Thayer's on there, and then go over my face again, and then I turn it over and do it on the other side until no more makeup comes off. Then I know that all the makeup is off my skin and I'm ready to apply my skincare treatments. Now let me begin by saying I have always used Retin-A for the last two years, and this is absolutely the big kahuna of skincare. It absolutely is what I feel makes the greatest difference on my skin. This and sunblock every single day of my life since age 35, and I'm past 60 now, and as you can tell by my neck, I really don't have a lot of discolorations at all. My arms are the same way, although not quite as good as my face because I don't always wear sunblock on my arms, but I always have on my face for absolutely decades, and I think it has made a tremendous difference. So if you're not using sunblock every day, please get into that habit because it is a good one. So Retin-A is the cornerstone of this, and in all two years, I've never changed this. But I used to use a lot of different serums. Before I would apply the Retin-A every night, I would apply serums, and the serums that I used were the niacinamide, the ordinary serum, and that just brightens the skin and gets rid of any discolorations you may have. Then I used two serums from Timeless, actually three. The first was their Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and I'm getting that in another skincare item that I'll show you. And Hyaluronic Acid just totally increases the moisturization of your skin, very moisturizing. And then in the morning, I use the Timeless Vitamin C Serum, but all of those serums have changed. And I stopped using all of those serums, and the reason I did was that I did some research and I found that there was no evidence that the serums really penetrate the skin. While those items in the abstract are very good for the skin, if they can penetrate the skin, there was just no evidence that the serums were a good carrying method to get them below the surface of the skin. So I decided I wanted to stop using the serums, 
And I decided that with the Retin-A use that I really did need a moisturizer. For those of you who have been with my channel for a while, you know that off and on I was complaining that all of a sudden the Retin-A was really giving me peels and dry skin, the really snaky looking peeling skin, which was just awful. And I tried several other things. And then finally I realized that with Retin-A, you really do need to use a good moisturizer. So what I did was I thought about the main skincare items that I really needed for my skin. And in my skincare regime, other than the Retin-A, I realized that I wanted ceramides because ceramides are essential for healthy skin. They help restore and maintain the skin's natural barrier balance. I also wanted niacinamide because I had experienced that niacinamide really does brighten the skin. It evens out the skin tone. It takes a while to work, but over time, it just starts to decrease the amount of brown spots you have on your skin and just give your skin an overall more healthy, more even toned look. And then I wanted hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid is a super moisturizer for the skin. They say it helps the skin to retain up to 1,000 times its weight in water. So I really needed all of those three things. So I looked around online for something that had fabulous reviews and I decided on the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion and also Dr. Dre's channel, she really recommended this along with this second little cream that I use, which is the Habo Labo Tokyo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. And this is a hyaluronic acid cream. And so every night after I've cleansed my skin, the first thing I put on my skin is this PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. And this has the ceramides, the niacinamide, and the hyaluronic acid. And then I cover that with just a little bit of this hyaluronic acid. And this is just a nice little clear gel. I don't know if you can see that. It just kind of looks like that. Just very, very moisturizing. Love this. And since I discovered this one, and Dr. Dre's channel is what got me into using this because she really recommended this highly, I've also seen that L'Oreal has a hyaluronic gel cream available, and I may be trying that the next time just to see how that compares. And here is how this one looks, the CeraVe PM cream. It's just a little cream like that. And I do one to two pumps of this, and then I put that all over my face. And then I use just the very smallest amount of this hyaluronic gel, put that all over my face. And the last step, and I don't wait for anything to dry before I apply my Retin-A, but many dermatologists say that to decrease irritation and redness and that kind of thing, to wait until your other skincare items dry for about 20 minutes and then apply this. And I would recommend you do that unless you've talked to your dermatologist otherwise. I have very thick, healthy skin, so I just go in right after on moist skin and I put the Retin-A on there. And then I just use the smallest amount of the Retin-A just a pea-sized amount is what they say, and it's not a huge pea, it's just a little tiny pea, like a lassoer pea, little tiny pea, and then you just rub that in and put it all over your face. I'm going to go ahead and use that on the backs of my hands. You don't want to waste a Retin-A because it does do beautiful things. And also that reminded me to tell you that anything I put on my face, I'm also putting on the backs of my hands just going ahead and using anything extra on the hands because I think that really does help. And that is my PM skincare routine on my face, but then I also go in and use a lash serum, and I was using the Babe Lash Serum and the Grand Lash MD serums. Absolutely love both of these, and they really made my lashes very long, but unfortunately I started another test of a lash serum that I'm not so jazzed about at this point, but it has fabulous reviews, and a girl in the office used it, and her eyelashes grew so long that I decided to spring for this, and this was like $100, I think, maybe a little more. This is the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Enhancements, is what it's called. And so far, I have to say I'm not impressed, but I've just been using this a couple of weeks, so I'm going to keep after this. And in a future video, I'll let you know what I thought of this. And in addition to using this on my eyelashes, I also use one of these serums on my brows. But I have to say that I've not noticed too much in the way of additional brow growth, but the jury is still out on that. And in addition to sharing my evening skincare routine with you, I did want to show you a couple of products that I was sent because I wanted to give you my quick reviews on those. I was so happy that the Becca people sent me the Becca Backlight Priming Filter Primer, and I have that on now, and I absolutely love this. If you want a dewy kind of radiant look, this is absolutely natural and beautiful. I'm a little bit on the oily side, so I just put it in my T-zone and kind of lightly brushed it out to the edges of my face. This just gives you that hydrated look. And they also sent me their Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation, and I have to admit that this 
this was not for me. It's absolutely beautiful and it comes in a full range of shades and it truly is 24 hour very full coverage and that was the problem for me. If you're in your 30s or 40s and want a beautiful full coverage foundation, you can't get better than this. Absolutely flawless look, just beautiful. And when I first put it on, I loved it. But unfortunately, now that I'm a little more grown up, actually past the age of 60, I noticed that this foundation started to settle within a couple of hours into the fine lines that I have. Actually, these are big lines, these nasal fold lines. And I noticed that it started to break apart in my oily areas here. And it really gave me a crepey look under my eyes. It was just too much full coverage for me. And I guess that's what this foundation is for, is for those who want truly full coverage because it really does deliver that. But in terms of my aging skin, I would really recommend this for the younger set. Now, another product that I tried is this Morphe Warm Blush Palette. And I have actually this shade on right now as a blush and this shade as a highlighter. Look at that shade. That is an absolutely beautiful little blush shade, very matte, which I like. And this is a very, very, very shimmery shade. You have three shimmers here. You have a light blush shade here, very, very light. And then there's that darker shade. And I do like this shade the best because I am really not that much into the warms. You would look at my hair and you would think, oh, she looks good in warms. And actually I feel like I'm more of a neutral to a cool because in real life I have brunette hair. The blonde is kind of an addition. So to me, this palette was a little bit warm. Now I'll show you their cool blush palette. There you can see that there. I'm not sure where it is here in the picture, but it has a little warmer color in the outside corner, but a lot more of the cooler shades. And I feel that for me personally, I would prefer those cooler shades. This palette though is a great buy. These are very highly pigmented colors and they come with the flat matte shades and the wonderful kind of iridescent shades to go on top to give you that little bit of a glow. So if you like warm makeup shades, you would probably really like this palette. I would say they're highly pigmented and they last a long, long time. But if you're more like me and prefer the neutral to cooler shades, I think you would be better served by the cool palette. Well, that was a look at my PM skincare routine. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see the AM routine, again, just subscribe and click that little bell and you'll be sent an email of that future video. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. This is the Language of Letting Go cards by Melody Beatty. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Come on, God. What can we think about for today? Ooh, I like this one. Rejecting shame. Rejecting shame. Today I will learn to reject shame. Shame is an overwhelming sense that who I am isn't good enough. I realize that I am good enough and that my imperfections are part of being human. I let go of shame. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it was something that I really wrestled with in my first half. I had grown up in kind of a house filled with disarray and I kind of always felt a little bit less than and so I thought if I could just be perfect enough that you know all things would be good and life would be wonderful and as the years went on and I got into my second half I realized that you know God made me exactly who I am and that I am good enough with all of my imperfections and as I've gotten into my second half I've realized that Struggling for perfection is just a losing battle. There will always be greater and lesser people than each of us. And so let's just get that perfectionism out of our life. Let's just appreciate ourselves. Let's realize that God made us exactly who we are and that who we are is good enough. Take care. See you next time.